Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and today I'm at another ploughing match. To find out where and with whom, I've come to speak with Lee Dallin. Hello, Lee. Hello, Richard. How are we doing? Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. We're in West Sussex near Petworth. Yes, we are. But we're not in Petworth. We're just south of Petworth. Uh, just south of the village of Byworth. Oh, Byworth. Byworth we are. Byworth is behind us, um, and we're along Haslingbourne Lane. Oh, fantastic. Is the name of the road. We can take a, a little stroll along here. We, we're in on your farm. Yes, we are, yep. Arable farm. Yep. You've Ar just taken over the tenancy? Um, I have, yes. I've just taken over from my father. Um, he's been tenant for the last sort of 25 years. Fantastic. Um, and I've taken over from him 1st of October. Um, and I'm the third generation um, to have this farm. Um, of my family and I'm the fourth generation of my family on the local estate because we're Leckenfield Estate here. Right, so. oh fantastic. Um, and it's it's principally arable and some beef cattle, um, is that right? Yeah, principally arable um, and grassland um, with um, some suckle cows, um, a few beef animals um, and also we've got horses here as well. Superb. So. But we're here to uh, look and discover more about ploughing. This is uh, an yep. annual ploughing match, but this is, I, I was at the West Grinstead ploughing match. This is one stage up, isn't it? Uh, yes, well, this is the Sussex County Ploughing Championship. Um, and everyone that's ploughing here today um, will have won their class um, at their respective county ploughing matches. We've got 10 associations within the county. Um, so that should yield us a um, hundred ploughmen, but it, it never does. It yields us around sort of 30, 35. Um, today we've got 50 ploughmen because um, we have what they call an open class so people that haven't qualified can come and plough. Oh right, um, oh, that's good. The only thing is they're not eligible to win no. the championship. <laughs> no, that so, would be unfair. Yeah it is, it's a little <laughs> bit unfair so that sort of swells the ranks a little bit and we also have here today we have the South East Area Vintage Qualifier for the national ploughing match so we've got I think we've got five ploughmen from around the South East Area from sort of Kent, Surrey, Sussex Hampshire um, that will plough here today for the right to go on to the national playing match next year. Fantastic. Now if we, um, I'm just going to get us to turn around this way right. so behind us yep. we can actually see some of the, uh, the, the uh, what do you call them, the, the lanes? Uh, they, no, it's, it's, it's actually an old Sussex word, it's a cant. A cant? It's a cant, it's an old Sussex word for a plot of ploughing um, and we've got two cants as you can see here and then everyone ploughs their plot within that cant. Um, it's when you used to, when it was all conventional ploughing and you used to mark out a set distance um, and then plough that right. um, and that was known as a cant and then you'd move on to the next cant. And uh, so a cant isn't a specific, a, a, an actual measured unit mm. but it's, it's measured for the job in hand. Yeah, it's measured right? for the job in hand. There's um, the national rules which we plough by set it out for a minimum width and a maximum width so you can plough within those parameters it just depends on the site you've got and whether you can fit everyone in that's what it that's what it goes on really so that's it now it, what's handy here is that you've got it all in one field it's what did you say 45 acres yeah it's 45 acres this field it's the biggest field on the farm we're quite lucky that it's flat as a pancake as well um so we can have everyone in one site yes. we normally struggle to find a field this big so we have to split it up between two or three fields yes. which you know makes it a little bit disjointed but it's quite nice to have everyone in one place um, and plowing along together so and uh, when I was at the West Grinstead, you had all sorts of different types of tractors from vintage to modern. And yep. I guess that's represented here as well. It is, yes. We've got um, vintage right back from standard Fords, as you can see behind us. Um, little grey Fergies, they have their own class. Um, right up to, um, in front of us here are the commercial reversibles. Um, and I think uh, the newest tractor here is only a couple of years old. So, so how long do they get? How long do they have to um, do um, their... their a bit of ploughing i've got to remember now um we you have 15 minutes uh, uh 15 minutes to do your opening furrow which we can see here um and then you have um three hours once this has been judged so there's an allotted time of 40 minutes for the judges to go around once they've finished we'll let a rocket off and then everyone has three hours so everyone's off the same hymn sheet have you ever done any judging i've done some judging i used to plough myself but i don't anymore and i have done some judging it um, must be very i mean looking at the 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 stuff when i was there in west Grinstead, it must be so difficult because these guys are really good aren't they it is very difficult um, they are at the top of their game um, and it's like any judging it's relative um, to what the judge likes right. um, and what you can look for um, but the thing is 
um, it's an age, it sounds daft to say it, but when you see a good bit of ploughing, you know it. Yeah. Because yeah. when you've been doing it for a couple of years, exactly. or quite a few years, you know it. So you've just got to pick the fineries of that certain bit of ploughing out. Yeah. So, so, so what, what, what would, um, what is it? What, what, give us one thing that tells you that it's good ploughing, just for the layman to get their um, grips around. It's like most things, if it's pretty to the eye. Right. If it looks, if you walk, when you're driving up and down when we've all finished, you can go, oh, that's a nice one because it stands out. Yes. And that's the sort of plot you're looking for. Um, but also, because we judge every element during the ploughing, um, it's how those elements stack up because you can't necessarily see all those elements on a finished plot. No, of course So, because some of them have been covered up. So you've got to, you know, do it as you're going along. But when you see a, a pretty plot, you will know it. You'll know. You know, you'll know it. Let's just uh, take a little walk down yeah. here um, by these rather remarkable uh, vintage ones. They're yeah. all sort of getting ready. They haven't started yeah. there, I take no, it. No, they've, 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 done done they've done their opening furrow, as you can see. Um, and once they've done their opening furrow, they have to hang about for the judges. Um, and once the judges have done their bit, um, everyone will start on mass again. And as I say, they've got their three hours to go. So um, it's, um, you know, it's everyone's doing the same job. Yes. What difference does it make if uh, the weather is, is grim? Um, it, it makes a, it makes it's a, a bit, lovely day today. Yeah, it's it? a beautiful so day lovely. today. Um, it does make a bit of a difference to morale. Yes, um, I bet. People are a little bit um, sort of um, drowned rats, for want of a better term. Yes. Um, and it does mean they crack on a little bit quicker and get things finished. Um, but yeah, people, these guys, they all do it as a hobby. Um, it's not a living for them, they do it as a hobby, it's what they enjoy. So it's like with any hobby, you know, you see fishermen sitting on a bank in the miserable rain. Yes, I think, why are you doing that? But it's what they love doing. So, yes. you know, we might get the odd one that's a bit fair weather that won't turn out, but most people will still turn up. So, so the, the tractors here, I mean, particularly the vintage ones, I guess, are not working tractors anymore. No, no, they're not working tractors anymore. Um, probably only, I, you could probably count on two hands, there's probably only about seven or eight tractors here on the field that still earn a living. Right. Um, everything else is either, um, you know, used to earn a living and is now someone's toy, or it only comes out in the open class. They just sit on a match plow and that's all they do. Yes. They do that for the year and that's all they do. So They're not uh, they're not cheap to buy though, some of these, especially these, uh, the, the vintage ones, are they? Um, they... The vintage ones, these little grey Fergies we've got here next to us, um, they're not too bad. Um, you could probably, or you could probably pick one up for 1500 quid if you wanted to. Oh, right. Oh, um, okay. You know, a fully restored, in good condition one, you know, you're looking at a lot more money. Yes. Um, but some of the rarer ones, like anything like cars, things like that, rarer ones, they will make a lot of money. Yes. You know, they will make a lot of money. But these guys, they just like to have a nice, well-restored tractor to do their do their hobby with. And so, why not? Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, absolutely. Um, and it's, it's great to see, it's great to see the heritage yes. being. And, and yeah. this is the thing, the, the ploughing has been since man could first grow anything. Exactly, yes. Ploughing's been around for years. Um, we've actually, on this farm, we've gone away from ploughing um, to cultivating, but we're actually bringing ploughing back in because um, it's beneficial. It's right. very beneficial for the soil. Um, it allows you to incorporate manures um, and green matter. Um, and I think, for our land anyway, it's better for it to plough it sort of one year in five or two years in five. Now, so. we're in, in, in Sussex, we're sort of in the lee of the South Downs, yes. aren't we? What, yep. What's the soil uh, here? Um, we're on a sandy loam here over clay um, because in front of us um, you've got, there's a big belt of sandstone right. um, and behind us um, about two fields it goes down we've got the river rother and then the other side of that is wheeled clay oh wow so um, it changes that quickly yeah it's, it's, it's sort of it goes it's sand the other side of the rother then goes down into very heavy clay under the hill Good heavens. Um, yeah just sort of under the hill so it changes very rapidly we're in what's called in farming circles boys ground oh right and, so, and, and what is it best for growing uh, it's best for growing everything it's very good for vegetables potatoes um, it grows corn well um, we do suffer in a dry year as we did this year a little bit we suffered on some yield um, this field we're standing in was spring barley it's very well drained it's because it's very well drained and, it, and and this year everyone had the same problem it just baked yeah. <laughs> so you know um, we, we did lose some yield as a lot of people did through yes. that but you know you can't help the soil you've got no so absolutely you know. well it, it, it looks like you're well positioned here for, well exactly for good yeah stuff. well listen um, Lee I know there's lots of things for you to do and yep. I'm going to go around and take some photos and all of that. But thank you so much for your time. No, thank you very much. Uh, it's been great fun. And um, 
Presumably there are more playing matches throughout before the end of the year? Um, the ne- the last one in Sussex will be Chichester next Sunday. Right. That's the last one in Sussex. And then it will start um, again. And then it will start again um, probably in about January or February. Gosh. So. Oh, well, there we are. So if you miss any this year, make sure you get to some next year. There's loads to look at and it's great fun. And of course, you're open to the public. People can come. Yes, people can come along. Um, very a two pound donation to come in, help us run the match. Um, and yeah, come along, have a look, see some ploughing. Superb. Yeah. Well, there we go. Thanks so much, Lee. It's been, it's been brilliant. So there we are. Next time, join me again uh, for landscape, nature and history. Till then, goodbye.